Now we're going to get to the next lesson in our Barhu Hebrew lesson, all right? So we wanted to learn enough Hebrew to begin to recognize and read a little bit along as we say these blessings and prayers throughout the service, beginning with our first prayer, the Barhu. I just want to give you a, a little bit of a disclaimer. You are not going to become a Hebrew lesson based on these, a Hebrew expert <laughs> based on these lessons, uh, but hopefully it'll begin to develop a hunger to learn more, to go and study more Hebrew, or to at least begin to recognize and appreciate what we're reading in Hebrew. But uh, without further ado, this is what we've learned so far, right? And this is the call to worship that our worship leader will call out to us. And if you uh, remember how it goes, you can say it along with me. Baruch et Adonai Hamavarach. We went over all these words so far. Um, now, the question is, what comes after that? Our response which is uh, the next line, Baruch Adonai Hamavarach. And you might have noticed there's some similarities between these two lines. Again, one is the one, the line called out by the worship leader, and the other one is our response. And I'm going to get rid of the, um, uh, getting rid of the transliteration just to see the Hebrew letters. All right, so now you're kind of in deep water here. Can you recognize these letters? Can you actually see between these two lines the similar letters, the letters that are the same, or at least very similar. And if you're having trouble, I'll help you along, but if you've already found them, great. First of all, you'll notice the first word is very similar. If the first line is barhu, and in the second line it's baruch, based on the same uh, root. The next similar words, actually the very same words, Adonai. Remember that? That's the name of the Lord, Adonai. And that's the very same word, as is the next one, Hamavarach. These are the same or very similar. Now let's deal with a very similar one, Baruchu or Baruch, right? They look close, but there's a little bit of a difference. You'll remember uh, starting actually on the left, which in Hebrew you read right to left, but we're going to take this side first and then that side. Baruch, uh, sorry, Baruchu is the first call, and it is the, ver- it's the, uh, it's, it's the imperative verb plural. So it's saying, hey, you all, bless. And uh, whereas the second word, baruch, is formulated a little differently. And instead of uh, bless, it's blessed. It's the passive. We are saying that blessed is the one we were about to address. Uh, so that's the difference. You can see they're both based on the same root, the bet, the resh, and the kaf. In this case, it's the final kaf, not the kaf that comes in the middle of the word, and barach means to bless, and this form of the word baruch means blessed, the one who is blessed. So, together, this phrase is baruch Adonai Hamavarach. Now again, because these are words we've gone over, assuming you've been here for the last several weeks, uh, so I'm not going to take it letter by letter, but just realize we're kind of repeating the phrase, only just changing a little bit how we say blessed. In which case, why don't we say this part together. Can you read the Hebrew going from right to left and read with me, Baruch Adonai Hamavarach. And that means blessed is the Lord who is to be blessed. And that is our response. Now there's a little bit left to the prayer. We'll get to that next time. But right now the worship team will lead us in the Baruch